Hey folks, Budget RC here. Um, as you can see, we have an almost finished body uh, for my uh, my extended stampede. And uh, originally, I was going to do a, a whole video on how to paint a body, um, but I decided not to, just because there's already a lot of those out there that are very good, and there's not really a whole lot more that I could uh, provide for information. That said, there are a couple things I think I could add, and I just wanted to give uh, a little bit of a quick tips video with respect to body painting. Um, as you can see, um, right now we've uh, kind of got a mess in terms of overspray and so forth. Um, we'll get to that in a minute, but what I want to do is try to, uh, to highlight um, this detail here. Um, just to give the body a little bit of, I guess, flair. Um, in, addition, in, in addition to the, uh, the blue, I wanted to have a couple other colors. Um, when masking the inside of a body, you have a couple options. Um, a lot of people like to use the liquid masking film. Um, that's what the, this product here is. Um, I've used it with uh, with great success. Um, you spray or uh, or brush this on the inside of the body, and once it gets uh, hardened, you can you can use your exacto knife and cut it and peel away the sections you want to paint. Uh, my only real complaint with this is that getting nice straight lines can be difficult. Um, you usually need to lay some tape or something else down as a guide. Um, when you do your cutting so it can be time-consuming so for simpler designs like this one I usually like like to just use masking tape um, What I like to do is start with a nice thin tape. Uh, this is about a quarter inch tape I think I bought it in an, at an auto parts store and uh, this type of tape works great for uh, for masking off small sections um, What I did here was was to use the tape um, under here and go right around to get this curved detail. I know you can't see it real well because of the overspray on the outside of the body, um, but this will be a little bit more clear once I pull this outer mask off. Um, but those uh, those thin tapes do a great job of allowing you to get nice straight lines and then and get some curves. Um, and uh, what I had done first was to mask everything except where the black is, um, and spray. You want to spray your dark colors first, so I sprayed the black. Um, then I took the masking off. I ran another masking line to cover everywhere that the blue is so that I could s spray the silver stripe. And uh, you can't see it now, but the silver stripe goes right up over the truck. And I also have a nice detail on the, uh, on the hood. So once you, do, uh, once you do that, then the only thing left on the inside was for me to do the blue. Uh, this is a candy blue. Um, and uh, so once you spray the candy color, you need to use a backing color. For that I used silver to help it pop um, and then underneath that I tried some truck bed liner just to help give it some durability um, and then that leaves the outside and like I said there's overspray on this body and uh, that's because what I like to do is do some of the painting on the outside of the body um, some of the small details like the black trim around the windows I like to do on the outside um, because when you do it on the inside it leaves it very glossy um, where if you do it on the outside, it gives it more of a matte finish. I think it's a little bit more realistic. Um, and the same thing goes with the truck bed. Um, and that's one more thing I wanted to point out. This truck bed here, um, what I did, and I think you can see it pretty well, is actually use truck bed liner paint. Um, I love the way it looks. It looks much more realistic, and it's also nice and durable. Um, but what I did here was, was kind of the same thing as the windows in that I, I trimmed away the outer mask that comes on these bodies in order to do the painting. Um, in the past I've had trouble, especially on these types of um, curves here, um, cutting a straight line um, with the X-Acto knife. It, it's hard to cut straight, especially when you're on a curve. So what I did um, was to uh, just run a line of masking tape all around the areas I wanted to cut and then the masking tape acted as a guide for my razor blade knife. That way I was able to get nice straight lines. And uh, I think the uh, the result is going to be really good. Um, once I uh, once I peel this off, we'll see how everything comes out. And then one last pointer I just wanted to give was that uh, I like to cut my body holes first uh, before I paint. I like to have all of my cutting done because I, I don't like to do any trimming or cutting after the paint is on. It just doesn't ever seem to work well for me. Um, but once I cut those holes, I also like to just throw a little bit of tape over those holes so that when I'm painting the inside of the body, I don't get overspray out here. You don't get much out. It's not really a big deal, but it's inevitable if I don't cover those, I end up with circle marks on my hands um, from when I'm holding the body. And if you get any kind of overspray on the, the outer mask itself, if you do intend to cut that mask to do any sort of outside detail work, 
um, it sometimes won't uh, won't go as well. So anyway, that's really about all I wanted to uh, to give in terms of body information. Um, I know it's not a lot, but like I said, there's a lot of uh, great videos out there already. Um, now I'm just going to peel the outer mask off, put the decals on, and uh, then I'll show you guys what it looks like. And I'll also show some running videos so that you guys can see it outside. Um, in here, especially with this terrible lighting I have, you really can't get a sense for, uh, for how nice this candy blue looks. So uh, anyway, we'll go ahead and pause it, and we'll come back when the body's all together. All right, so now we're back. We've got the uh, the outer mask removed, um, which I guess is obvious now. You can see that the body looks a whole lot better. Um, now you can see the nice clear uh, detail here with the nice crisp lines. Um, let me bring it in a little bit closer just to show you some of the detail. Um, now you can see that that's got uh, a nice, nice crisp line. Um, overall, the body came out pretty good. It didn't come out perfect. Um, nothing I do ever comes out perfect because I just don't do it often enough. Um, one thing I wanted to do was point out one of my mistakes or issues and show you what I did to fix it. If I can do it without dropping the body. Um, when, uh, when I was painting the, uh, the silver uh, through here, what, uh, what had happened is that my inner tape line right here had lifted up. And, uh, and I had some issues with, with some, uh, some paint bleeding through. Um, what I did to fix that, to the best of my ability, um, was to, uh, to stop painting. I unmasked everything. I scraped as much of the overspray off as I could with the hobby knife. And then what was left, I used a Q-tip with a little bit of brake cleaner um, on the Q-tip. And on the inside, I would just rub where the overspray was. And, uh, and that was able to get most of it off. It leaves the... Uh, it leaves the plastic a little bit cloudy, but once you apply your paint, you don't really see it. Um, with silver, any kind of issues show up. Um, if you look clearly, you can see a couple of marks here. Um, in person, it's not quite as obvious as it is in the video, um, but they're there. Um, but the blue actually looks really good, and the blue is where I had the overspray that I had to remove. Um, so it's, uh, it's just one of those things that really helps. Um, if you do this, you're going to eventually have those sorts of problems, so it's good to know how to fix them. So now I'm going to go ahead and get my decals on, and uh, then I'll give one final view. And here it is all done. Um, we've got all the uh, the decals on it, and uh, it's all put back together and ready to run. Um, overall, I'm real happy with how the vehicle came out. Um, I think it looks good. Hopefully we won't, won't run into uh, too many body rub issues. I'd hate to see this body get all chewed up. Um, but ultimately, I'm sure it will anyway. Um, I'm pretty rough on bodies. Um, but uh, I'm real happy with how it came out. I think the truck looks great, and uh, I can't wait to run it. So uh, we'll do a couple of quick uh, running videos just so you can see it outside. Um, this body looks really nice in the sunlight. Um, but that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. All right, guys, so we're outside now, and uh, as you can see, the body's really got quite a lot of sparkle to it. Um, unfortunately, it's already got grass all over it because I thought I had the camera rolling, took it for its maiden voyage in my backyard. And I already got it full of grass, but uh, I wasn't uh, wasn't recording like I thought I was, so we're uh, giving this a second try. Um, so overall, I think the body came out really good. Um, and uh, bear with me, I've got all kinds of cars going by, and uh, I can't actually see anything because the sun is shining right on my screen. Uh, but uh, we'll do a real quick running video, um, and uh, then we'll let you go. Okay, here we go. Well, so there it is. Now it's all filthy, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it.